Uh, welcome to Gary Clements, the clerk of the uh, county court. Thank you for being here with us today on this uh, very, very warm but uh, survivable Monday in July. Um, you've been, you're a Virginia boy through and through. You were born here, raised here, went to Loudoun Valley High School, went to James Madison and George Mason uh, schools. What is it about Loudoun that you love so much? Well, just one correction. I was actually born in Washington, D.C., except for that short <laughs> stint, I am a Virginia boy. Oh, there you go. I love Loudoun County for many reasons, but if I could pin it down to a couple, I think the diversity we have here is outstanding. I think the growth, while challenging, has provided many opportunities. Uh, and obviously, when you think about Loudoun County, you think about the wonderful people we have. So I think there's a lot of reasons, but for me, I've enjoyed the growth in the 40-some years I've lived here because it's brought more diversity, great people, and many great opportunities. So, Clerk of the Court, uh, this, this, what is one of the things about uh, the Kurt Clerk of the Court is that it's, it's one of our four constitutional offices. We've got Commissioner of the Revenue, we've got Treasurer, the Commonwealth's Attorney, I guess we have the Sheriff's Office. Sheriff, too. yes. Uh, so, I'm just counting. Then we have Clerk of the Court, arguably one of the most little known offices here, but it actually, what you oversee is enormous. It has a deep impact in our county. Right. Why so little known about this office? Well, because you try to stay out of controversy. It's all about management. It's about administration. Uh, there's not much politics really about the office. Uh, and actually, if I could distinguish, there's three clerks of the court. I'm the only elected clerk of the court, clerk of the circuit court. There's a general district court that has a clerk and a juvenile domestic relations court that has a clerk. And I point that out because many people don't know that there are actually three clerks of the court. I'm the only one that actually is elected as a constitutional officer. And why is that? Why is this an elected uh, position uh, instead of an appointed position? Because many positions like this are in fact appointed by right. either a judge or the board of supervisors, some elected body. Why elected? The most significant reason we're elected is because it's in the Virginia Constitution. The clerks of the circuit court were actually the second constitutional office created, the sheriffs being the first and subsequently other offices came into being by virtue of our Virginia Constitution. But the most important reason I think that uh, clerks of circuit court should be elected are because we're directly accountable to the people for everything that we do. But why eight years? So every other, every other constitutional office in the county is a four-year term? That's correct. You are eight years. Uh, is that a clerical error? No, not a clerical <laughs> error. It's actually in the Constitution, but also it's consistent with the appointment of circuit court judges. Judges of the circuit court are appointed for eight years by the members of the General Assembly, so there is some consistency with that policy. Would you be in favor of reducing that to uh, four years uh, and changing the Constitution to do so, or do you think there's a merit to having some consistency and longevity with eight years? My personal belief is I think there is, as you say, an importance of having that longevity, or not longevity, consistency, because uh, in the courts uh, it's important to have judicial consistency, it's important to have uh, constant administration. Uh, if you were to have a change every four years, it could conceivably d disrupt the efficiency and effectiveness of the court system. Um, you said, uh, it was interesting, you said that your uh, job is, is really, even though it's elected, you run, you do run as, uh, you run as with a party label to it. Of course, you Correct. run as an independent. Correct. But you ran as a Republican right. uh, when you were first elected in uh, 1999. Correct. And then re-elected as a Republican in 2007. So, right. how much of your political beliefs factor into the job that you do that distinguishes you from a Democrat doing the same job? I think as far as the politics go, as far as how I manage my office, there really isn't a distinction. I do have strong personal political beliefs, that's why I ran as a Republican. When it comes to running my office, uh, there really are no politics in the office. It's about administration, it's about management, it's about being responsive to the citizens we serve. Well, to the average Joe or average citizen, the pitch basically is at some point in their lives, they're going to have some contact with the clerk or the circuit court, and many people don't know that whether it's getting a marriage license, having their deed recorded, uh, having uh, someone be appointed as a notary public, being called to serve for jury duty, having to do legal research in the law library, and many, many, many other things they may do when they uh, conduct business or raise a family in Loudoun County. They're at some point going to have some contact with their clerk of the circuit court. The average citizen can go to two websites I'd recommend to find out more about what their clerk of circuit court does. One is my office website at www.loudon.gov backslash clerk. The other website is done by the Virginia Court Clerks Association, www.vaclerks, that's v-a-c-l-e-r-k-s.org. 
They'll list all the duties and responsibilities of the clerk of the circuit court and provide substantial information.